All right, welcome to LED Info. My name is Ron. We are in the LED Info Test Lab. Today we're reviewing the Unifarm UF1000. And this is part of our ongoing project. We've been reviewing the lights that are for sale on eBay and Amazon. We've been looking mostly at the reasonably priced lights, the kind that would be used in a smaller at-home type of a project. We've noticed over the last couple months that uh, Unifarm has been very active on eBay. They've been selling a lot of lights. And, you know, speaking of reasonably priced, these lights are just that. They are very reasonably priced. So we thought we would uh, grab one of them and see what's up. So we'll do a full PPFD grid. We'll be able to determine what the average PPFD is for the entire grow area. And then that's the number that we'll use to determine the DLI. That's the daily light integral. And that's the number that researchers are starting to pay the most and greatest attention to these days. So you know, we're very happy to be able to provide that information for you. We'll uh, plug the light into our watt meter. We'll see what the actual number of watts that the light pulls out of the wall are. First, though, we'll take a look at the light visually. We'll see what it looks like, see if there's any extra equipment or any extra features that the light might have. All right, so here is the Unifarm UF1000, brand spanking new right out of the box. The light uses quantum board technology. It has a 9-inch by an 8-inch quantum board. It has 184 LEDs. According to the specification sheet, this light will produce a natural white sunshine type of spectrum, which seems to be the trend these days. Both growers and manufacturers seem to be gravitating towards these quantum boards with the uh, natural sunshine type of spectrums. This light also uh, produces infrared light. A lot of growers really like the infrared. They feel that it helps their plants to flower more profusely. Um, as far as the light goes, uh, nothing fancy here. It is a quantum board that's attached to the metal plate. Uh, it has a remote driver. And that's pretty much all she wrote. Um, we'll go ahead, we'll hustle over to the LED info test chamber. We'll pop this in the test chamber. Let's see what kind of numbers uh, this unit produces. We're in the LED info test lab. We're reviewing the Unifarm UF1000. We have the Unifarm in our test chamber ready to go. It's on a level 12 inches of height. Our test chamber is a very nice two foot by two foot grow tent that was provided to us by Yellow Sky. Before we get started on the PPFD readings, we did want to take just a quick minute to tell you about our test equipment that we use. For these readings, we use the Apogee MQ500, which is the state-of-the-art quantum flux meter. So when you see the results of our tests and our readings, you can feel very confident that they're going to be accurate. So we are going to button up the test chamber, and we'll have that uh, all-important dead center PPFD reading here coming right up for you. All right, so there it is, uh, 447. That is the Unit Farm UF1000 dead center at 12 inches. So I'll go on ahead, I'll complete the full PPFD grid, and we'll post that. Um, I'll also post the LED Info test review sheet. We'll uh, take a look at the watt meter, see what the actual wattage is, and then we'll wrap this one up. So I want to thank you for stopping by. Um, hope you have a good one, and we'll see you next time.